If you're homeless and you graduate high school, that's literally like getting a PhD and getting a Rhodes Scholar. I started Mondays at the Mission. It's the only homeless youth program of its kind at the Union Rescue Mission, which is the largest and oldest homeless shelter in the country. When we have guests that come to the mission, they're like, how many success stories of students that have gone to college? And I tell them, this is an emergency room. We're more about the most immediate things. Are they alive? Are they gonna not commit suicide today? Are they gonna get someone pregnant or be pregnant? Are they gonna get involved with drugs? The whole goal was teaching kids how to build confidence, how to plan for their college, how to build out their career skills. We've had hundreds of volunteers come in, 250 speakers from all around the world, from 28 countries. We have people like Elon Musk to give them some sense of hope, to give them some sense of direction. They have a higher probability of succeeding if they see the person they want to be like. When you see these kids, their eyes light up and they start smiling. But remember, right outside, they are living in the worst part of town. Skid Row in LA is the worst man-made disaster in the US. It was planned to corral and contain everybody that was experiencing homelessness. I think the last count was 1,777 people living on the sidewalks. All the shelters are at capacity and yet LA continues to send people to Skid Row for help. But when they get here, they don't really find help unless they're one of the fortunate few. Every night we have about 1,200 people under our roof and for the first time in our 125 year history, we have more women and children than we do men. There's really no limit to these kids because of some of what they've experienced at Mondays at the Mission. All these kids come from different backgrounds, different cultures, race, religion, spiritual beliefs, and things like that. But to see them all still smiling and connecting and establishing relationships, I've seen relationships uh, and bonds uh, tighten just, just by this, like, this class on Monday nights and stuff like that. There's different people who work down here on Skiro, but it's the volunteers in the whole who make, who make the whole community thrive and uh, put smiles on these people's faces. I bought you know, I wouldn't be able to land a job or like, you know, go to college or anything. And when I went to Monday's night at the mission, Chris Kai, he was the one that told me, um, middle school isn't really where you're supposed to worry about that. He told me that I definitely had a second chance. And from there, I started working really hard again. Because of that, like I had the confidence to go up to someone that is producing a show. He's like, hi, my name is Cherie. Book me, I'm hilarious, please. Coming here, it really makes me feel happy. When I enter this room, I feel excited because I get to meet everybody again. Chris always says hello to everybody and he remembers everybody's name. It teaches us about everything that we need to know to go to our life skills and be what we want to. Doing it for the kids because I know that they the future and get a butts a chance, man, so they can have a future. I know we had it rough, man, but this could be smoother. I don't want these young boys to grow up and be shooters. Hopefully they get the courage to be Martin Luther or be like Steve Jobs, man, to make their own computers. He might be a musician, man. He might be a producer if he do a little stand-up, if he got the humor, or he gonna be a trooper following that wrong kind. Wrong individuals influence their mind when that rubber meets the road on that wrong grind. These folks trying to shine, man, but they really blind and I.